Congratulations on your new salad master machine. My name is Christian Oliver and I'm here to show you how it works. When you get your salad master machine, it comes in a beautiful box just like this. All right. When you open it up, you'll see on the top, one of the first things you'll see is your salad master instruction booklet. If you don't like listening to me on the video, feel free to read this. All right, there's some recipes at the back as well. There's four main parts to your salad master machine. You've got your cones, which there are five. You've got the hopper, you have the food guide, and you have the base. The base, we'll start with that since it's the bottom. It's very simple. To lift the base, you've got three suction cups, and all you need to do is break the seal on each one, and you can pick it right up. To put it down, press firmly, put your hopper on, just hold it in your hand firmly, angle it a little bit towards the back, about a 45 degree angle, it slides right on. The food guide has two guides in the back. Simply just slide that on flat and your machine is assembled. If you do this about three or four times, you'll be able to do this blindfolded, hanging upside down. It's amazing. A lot of people ask me, Christian, how do you get your cone on? Simple, just like this. You get your cone, place it in your palm, flush. It's easiest if you have the cone pointing straight up your arm, place it right in the center and pull the handle towards yourself. It's now on. To get the cone off, get the handle and just push it away. It's very simple. Push things off, pull them on. So you pull this handle back on. Once again, your cone is on. To take it off, just push away. Very simple. All right, now I'm gonna show you the Salad Master machine in action. We're gonna start with the number one cone. I know it's the one cone because it says one right here on the bottom. It says SH1, this is our shredder cone. Once again, to put the cone on, just flatten the palm in, pull the handle towards yourself. We're now going to get a plate and some zucchini. When you cut with Salad Master, what you wanna do is put the food in your hand and start turning. And as soon as you can, you wanna get your pinky right here on this knob and your thumb on the other knob. So I'm gonna cut this down until my thumb gets over here. And then once that happens, get the rest of your food. Simply just place it in the back, push the food guide down, puts everything right through, and you've got perfect zucchini to make zucchini bread. All right, this is a great cone for that. Also, if you wanna shred cheese, this is a great cone to use if you're doing tacos or anything like that. All right, so there's the one cone. Once again, to take it off, just push the handle away. So there's our number one cone. All right, now we're gonna use the number two cone, which is our stringer. It says ST2 on it, it's our stringing cone. Once again, just place the cone on, pull the handle towards yourself. We're gonna do radishes. We're gonna use this little thumb placement here, lift that up. With radishes, with strawberries, mushrooms, whatever you want, you can just fill up the whole back of the hopper. Just push down and just start cutting, and we're just gonna shred or string all of these radishes. All right, look at that. This is also great for doing cheese. Um, this is one of my favorite cones for cheese. Look at those radishes. That was a lot. That was about 20 radishes all done right at the same time. Push the cone away, take it off, set it down. And you've got some nice radishes there. All right, and now we're going to use the number three cone. The number three cone is our French fry cut. So you can do the french fries either just like this with a potato, give you some nice good sized french fries there. So it's a great deal with potato. Or you can do it, this is one of my favorite cones to cut cabbage with. When you're cutting cabbage, you wanna leave the core in it's where a lot of your nutrients are. The core of the cabbage also acts like glue. It holds the whole head of cabbage together. Put the core in your hand, in your palm, Put the tip down into the Salad Master machine. Turn it a few times, you'll notice you'll get this. You always wanna then take this sharp edge and place it back underneath. So you'll stop, turn it sideways, back to the middle, and then stop here once it gets down low, throw it in the back. Remember, anytime you can fit food in the back, throw the food in the back, okay? Once again, to clean the cones out, there's no blades on the inside. So you can put your hand straight in there and keep turning, it'll clean everything out of the inside. There we go. And there is some shredded cabbage. This is great for making coleslaw. This is great for cooking cabbage, anything you wanna do with that. All right. Are you having as much fun as I am, huh? 
Now we're going to get another plate. Plates are wonderful. Um, and we're going to start slicing. This is our number four cone. It's our slicer. Once again, place it on. Pull the handle towards you. Um, we're going to get a potato. If you want to do potatoes au gratin, it's very simple. This actually kicks out the bad pieces. I don't know if you noticed that with the salad mask machine. But also, uh, potatoes au gratin. Look at this. Perfectly sliced potatoes. Just a whole, a whole mess of them, as my mom used to say. Put it right through. And look at that. Perfect. Whole thing of potatoes. Saves you all sorts of time from peeling, doing everything else, all in the number four cone. Slice it right up. So we've got our nice sliced potatoes. Put some cheese on top of that. Mmm, delicious. Once again, another plate. And now we're gonna use our waffle cone, the number five cone. This is a great cone if you're gonna do potato chips or if you wanna make apple chips. It's a great appetizer for kids. So you got your potato cut here and it's got ridges right on the side. Also, if you want to get an apple and make apple chips, very simple, just like this, and they're delicious. Once again, put your hand on the inside, clean it out, push away, take the cone off. All right, and those are the basic simple ways to use a salad mass machine. Now what we're going to do is one of my favorite things with salad mass machines, we're going to grate cheese. The salad mash machine is probably the best cheese grater in the universe. What you do is we'll just get our number two cone once again. Put it right on here. This is what we did the radishes with. Get our block of cheese. And look at how fast we're going to cut a whole block of cheese. Are you ready for this? Count with me at home. One, two, three. I can only count to three. All right, look at this. So in my world, three seconds, maybe it's 10 seconds. You've grated a whole block of cheese. You've kept your knuckles. It's just a great thing. Look at that cheese. That is delicious. I'll be eating that later on. There's cheese. Another thing you've also probably seen if you've had a salad master dinner party is what we do with celery. Celery is bittersweet. On the outside, it's bitter. On the inside, it's sweet. What we like to do is feed the celery in the back, put the the string side towards the back and just push down. Then you reach around the bottom and just pull and it takes the strings off the celery. That way you just get the sweet part of the celery. This is how we make the cake. All right, so once again, push away to take the cone off. You don't have to twist your hand, just push away. And those are the basic methods of using the Salad Master machine. Now that you've seen how to use every cone, we're going to create a beautiful, delicious fruit salad with it. And to do that, I've brought on board Yanka Molinar. Yanka, tell the world hello. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hello, Yanka. Hi. <laughs> All right. Yanka's first thing she's going to do is um, get our cantaloupe okay. and put the number three cone on. Now, when you're using cantaloupe or any melon, it's very simple. You take the food guide off, as you've just seen Yanka do, and then just place the melon all the way down and give it a few turns, and you've gone all the way to the rind. So give it about three turns there, Yanka. One, two, three, and a half. All right. Perfect. Once again, no blades on the inside, so that's how you clean it we'll out. Let's do the honeydew on the same cone. And before we do that, if you'll show everybody, we've perforated the melon, if you can see these slices here. That way you don't get really long pieces of melon and you get chopped up pieces when you're making your fruit salad. So let's go ahead and get this honeydew. All right. One more. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to take off the three cone and we're going to put on our number five cone. And with the five cone, we're going to put in some apples. And actually, we're going to put in some apples and some strawberries. Let's do the strawberries first. We've got some strawberries on a plate here. The trick to doing strawberries with salad mass machine is to put them in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. It firms them up some and makes it perfect to go in. So go ahead and just fill up the back there, Yanka. All right. And get your cut on. Oh, perfect. Look at these cuts. Perfect little strawberry cuts and delicious. All right, now let's go ahead and put on a nice Granny Smith apple and show them now when you're cutting apples with the salad master machine, 
you want to hold the core horizontally and cut, just do a few turns there, and you'll get what we call a sharp edge, which is right here. Once you get that, you'll place it underneath the food guide and it locks it in. You turn it again and you just keep rotating the same way. Another sharp edge, we'll keep rotating. Another sharp edge, we'll keep rotating. And go and show them the high speed. Pretty that fast, one. that's it. <laughs> All right, great job. Let's go ahead and uh, take off the number five cone by pushing away. Let's get our number two cone. We'll put our other two apples in here. You can get any fruit you want to do in the salad master machine. We've just chosen these simple ones for you to see. Go ahead and show them the show them light speed. Do you, light. Have, do you have light speed on there? Let's see. Is that it? That's impressive. Right? <laughs> no wait. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Very good. Very good. Cord an apple. All right. And now we will core one last apple on the number two cone as well. Oh yeah. See how simple that is to cut apples? It's really fast, a lot easier than core, and you get the skin on. And it's a great way to get your children or anybody who doesn't like to eat the skin of an apple to eat it. That's where all the nutrients are. And when it's just a little small piece like this, you don't taste it. So it's great. Love it. All right, go ahead and take that off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in some orange zest on the number one cone. Yes. And we're going to zest an orange, zest lime, and zest lemons. So it's going to be a nice fruit salad with nice dressing on it, just natural fruit. There you go. Show everybody that. Isn't that nice? When you're zesting, you want to try and only get the color of the fruit, the orange, or if it's a lime, just the green part. The white is the real bitter part. Okay? Very good. Mmm. This smells amazing. What do y'all think? Very good. All right, go ahead and just zest this lime. And we'll be done with our zesting. Just half a lime is probably good in here. Once again, you can modify this recipe to however you like, whatever tastes the best to you. Now, if you would, let's grab that three cone again. It's at the bottom right there. And we're going to put in our banana. Bananas are really, really, really good on Salad Master Machine. Once again, the trick with bananas, go ahead and you can cut that. We're using the number three cone. Is you don't want to push down really hard. Also, you'll notice we've got bananas that are a little more green. The firmer the banana, the better. Um, they also look how easy they just peel right open, especially if you cut it with a knife beforehand. All right? <laughs> so wow. go ahead. I know. Go ahead and get that one done. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Oof, that looks good. Looks so good. I'm going to eat it later. All right. And now we'll get the Salad Master Juicer, which is really great. We've got a very own Salad Master Juicer. You just grab it like this and squeeze. It's perfect. We get some orange juice on this some lemon juice. We even get some of these big pieces of orange coming out. This is a delicious, natural dressing for your salad. You don't have to put all the unhealthy sugars and everything on there. The fruits have their own natural sugars and voila. In just a matter of seconds, minutes, you've got your very own nice fruit salad. That's just one of the many great things you can make with the Salad Master Machine. For more recipes and more information, go to the World Wide Web Visit us online, www.saladmaster.com.